machines will eventually get better than humans at many of these things and we will be able to produce a lot more with much less human effort and uh, uh, that doesn't mean we won't have meaningful activities um, so our our definition of what is meaningful activity has changed over our history right um, TV career was never a career before uh, and that was we have new technologies new careers uh, and the probably what will change is the our uh, definition of what earns you an income, what earns your living. Uh, but probably our meaning of life, you know, or our self-worth can be detached from how much money we make from our work as mm -hmm. opposed to what we actually do for our own fulfillment. So you're saying we did detach our work and income? That could be a possibility, yeah. Really? Uh, <laughs> that's, a new, uh, that's a new paradigm. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the sense that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to work to get uh, a basic income, so that's one of the ideas. Uh, and, and you work um, because you like work, not because it's a necessity to earn a living. That could be, that could be a mm -hmm. paradigm shift. You, you say that um, the global share, uh, the, the global income is growing, but the share labor gets is getting smaller and smaller, therefore inequality is rapidly rising. And um, last year, I think you uh, warned uh, the people here and uh, that uh, the wealth of the richest 1% would own more wealth than 99% of the population. And Oxfam just announced this week that it happened, mm. right? Uh, in my, I mean, my view about it is, is very much the one that uh, you just heard from Eric, the pie is growing uh, mm -hmm. bigger. There's no guarantee <clears throat> that um, everyone will benefit if we leave the market alone. Mm -hmm. Uh, in fact, if anything, we think that not everyone will benefit if we leave the market alone. So we need to develop a new system of institutions, new uh, policies that will um, redistribute inevitably mm -hmm. from those that the market will have rewarded um, in favor of those that uh, the market will have uh, left behind. Uh, now, having a universal <coughs> minimum income mm -hmm. is one of those ways, and in fact, it's one that I'm very much in favor of. Uh, as long as we know how to apply it without taking away the incentive to work at the lower end of the market. The old jobs are being automated. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it's 47% or what the exact number is, but there's no question that many, number, many, many uh, existing tasks will be automated. And that should be a good thing as we replace some of those routine tasks if we can find the new jobs and the new industries and the new goods and services. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see us working harder on developing those and developing the skills for the workforce so that we can fulfill those. Um, because ultimately, that's, that will be the best way to provide for people is to have uh, people doing productive work. And that's, that would be my first option before we go to, to um, uh, a basic income or other sorts right. of things, which we may have to at some point. Mm -hmm. I think we could invest much more in education and entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. research and development to reinvigorate the economy. People plus technology mm -hmm. uh, can be uh, a very powerful combination. Mm -hmm. Um, plus, I think everybody has the, every human being mm -hmm. has the ability to be creative, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, whether, whether it being uh, on entertainment side, uh, you know, crafts, mm -hmm. uh, thinking of new ideas, exploring the rest of the universe. Uh, mm -hmm. um, um, so every human being has the capability to be uh, creative, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we are creative when our basic needs are met. Uh, and uh, for example, I wouldn't be an entrepreneur if I was worried that if, you know, if I fail, mm -hmm. I will starve and die. If that was the outcome I am facing, I mm -hmm. wouldn't dare to be an entrepreneur. I wouldn't take to take risks. And I think that's, that's a future that we can give to everybody, that mm -hmm. uh, you know, people's uh, uh, basic needs are met, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they all have the capability to be uh, creative.